Okay, so today I'm going to teach you about how to do layer masks in Flash CS3. To start, open up Flash, go to new Flash Action Script 3.0 document. Here we have our basic stage and one layer. What we're going to do is insert a couple more layers. Um, the topmost layer, we're going to name Actions. Um, we're not actually going to be using Actions for this. It's a fairly simple pro process, but you do want to get in a good habit of making your topmost layer Actions and then locking it. What locking it does is it allows you to still insert Actions, but it won't allow you to visually affect this layer at all, which we don't want. All we want is Action Script in this layer. Um, and the reason that it's put on the top is because Flash uh, compiles from the top down when it actually compiles it into its own application. So the next thing that we want to do is um, create a background layer. We're going to go ahead and lock this layer too. We're not going to be dealing with this one. This gives us a default background to default to just in case we, um, we mess stuff up or want to add even more layer masks in the end. So um, what I will do is go ahead and make this, um, we have now have two layers. Uh, one is going to be our actual um, image that we're going to layer mask, and the other one is going to be what we're going to apply it to. So this one, um, I'm going to name uh, mask image. Uh, And then this one, I'm going to name Mask Effect. Now what you want to do is click on Mask Image Layer. Make sure that this is highlighted. It will highlight the keyframe as well. And then go ahead and uh, hold down Control-R to import to stage. Or you can also go File, Import, Import to Stage. And you can see Control-R. That's going to be Command-R on a Mac. And you're going to look for a general um, image here. And I have a couple, as you can see. I'm just going to go down and we're going to use this one. Um, so now I have an image to import to the stage. Now what I'm going to do is I, I have a, my stage size set to 550 by 400. But this, pi this picture is only uh, 500 by 340. So what I'll do is I'll just... Uh, make the stage match um, in size and the stage is going to be basically your application area so go ahead and click uh, size um, and how I got to that is uh, you click off here in the gray area off the stage and then it should bring you click in the properties menu just in case you're on something else and then you can click size and then our image is 500 by uh, 340 I believe and then also I'm gonna go ahead and change the frame rates and the frame rate to 20 basically this just allows smoother animation for anything um, it does somewhat increase your file size in case you're afraid of that but not too much so um, 500 by 340 is what our image is and then 500 by 340 okay now to line this up with the stage you just go down here here's your width here's your height Here's your X positioning and your Y positioning. I'm going to change this to 0 and 0. What that does is it aligns it to the top left. And up here is your 0, 0 coordinates. And then um, X is across this way. And Y is across this way and this way. Um, the more that you grow, it actually grows from the top left down. So X, say X200, be over here. And then an X, Y of like 300 would be way down here because it grows um, the reverse of graphs that you might have um, mapped out in math classes and whatnot. So now that we have our mask image, we're going to want to um, find out what we're going to want to affect it with. So what we'll do is uh, create some text here. Text is just a really good example. What I have here is I'm going to use static text. I'm going to use a font of impact, and I just basically adjusted this up to 96. I'm using blue, but you can really use whatever you want. Um, 
doesn't matter. And then click here, and you'll have a uh, text window up here. You can write whatever you want. Um, for now, we'll go ahead and write um, night. So the reason that I'm using this font is because, and I have it on bold as well, the reason that I'm using this font is because it's a very bold and wide font, and it really allows us to see um, what's going on in the application. Come over here to the Align panel. Um, you can center the font um, horizontally and then vertically as well. So now we have it vert uh, vertically centered. Now all you have to do um, to make this uh, layer mask, to get this image inside the text, is right click on the mask effect layer and then click mask. And as you can see, we actually have the night um, all the way through here. And if you want to go back and edit this at any time, all you do is you unlock this, and then when you relock it after your changes, your changes will take effect. And just to show that a little bit better, what we'll do is we're going to come down here to about 60. And um, what I did is I just highlighted the, flame, uh, the frames at 60, just click, hold down, and drag up. And um, you can either hit F6 for all of these. What I'm going to do is just hit F6 for this. This inserts a keyframe, which means that it contains all the information. And on this one, I'm going to hit F5. This just inserts blank frames. And then F5 for this one, and F5 for this one. You can also do the same thing by insert, timeline, and then keyframe, or just frame with F5. Uh, keyframe is F6. So what we want to do now is we're going to make the this image right here kind of move through the text to give it more of a, a real flash effect show some a little bit more of the power that you have with flex or flash sorry um, so what we'll do is we'll click down on the right click on the timeline and click motion tween um, you should see this little arrow go all the way across it shows that that was pretty much successful and then I'm gonna also click in the center here, which is 30, from 30-ish, and then insert another keyframe, which is F6, or you can go into insert timeline keyframe. So right now we have it at this, and just so that we can loop it, what I'll do is on this keyframe, I'm going to click this background layer, and I'm just moving it over by using shift and then the arrow keys. If you don't use the arrow keys, it does it a lot um, a lot slower. So you can just move this down or up or however you want to do it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and I'm just going to move it directly to the right. So holding shift and then hitting the right arrow key to move this to the edge. And then this it should go back. So what we'll do is we'll relock these layers and it'll give us our layer effect back. But what it's going to do now is it's going to roll through that image inside that text to give it a really cool looking um, video look inside the text. So I'm going to go ahead and use Control Enter, which is Command Enter on a Mac, to test my movie. And as you can see right here, we have it's growing through the, um, the image there. And we actually have basically a movie clip now inside of our uh, text. It's not a real movie clip, we're just basically uh, pulling which part of the image is showing at the text throughout the timeline. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot to it. You can definitely do uh, tons of stuff with the layer mask. And I hope you guys enjoy that. Hopefully I'll be adding some more tutorials on ActionScript and doing some more things inside of Flash.